you work out yesterday? Did I what? Did you work out yesterday? I haven't. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm kind of slacking. What's going on, man? Nothing's going on. I just need let's to get have, back. No, let's have a talk. Why, why do you want to have a conversation right now? We, we got to go skate. What do you mean, why do I want to have a conversation? You came and put the camera in my face. I was just sitting here relaxing. I know, but I just want to make sure that So the if you was... put the camera in my face, I'm assuming that means there's going to be some talking going on. Yeah, I, I, I just told you that I wasn't going to skate that heavy. I just want to go move my body, you know? That's what I'm going to do, too. I'm going to move my body today. Yeah, but I worked out. I actually trained. Yeah, but I can, I can do what you do. Similar. But well, how does that make sense? If, you're, if you could do what I do, then yeah, you could work out too today. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Just say you don't want to work out. No, dude, I just, Harvey was in town. I was kicking with Harvey him. Harvey was in town. Come Your on. cousins were in town. It was cool. Like, that had know, nothing to do with you working out or not. Just the time of hanging out with people. Just, you know, last time I checked, Harvey was in town. I still worked out. There's nothing to figure out. You either work out or you don't. Just say, just say, the only reason I'm making an issue is because you're dancing around it. If you were just straight up and be like, you know what, Paul, this working out thing ain't for me. I don't, I just don't want to do it. Then I'll be like, no, no, it is for me. For I, I want to do, I want to do it. I got to get back to, I got to get back to what, you know. It's just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, now don't get me wrong. I have my faults. I have my fall offs, but real friends, we got to hold each other accountable. You know, you, you let me know when I'm screwing up. So I got to let you know when you're falling off. Yeah, vice versa. Yeah. When are you going to, when are you going to like. Kick it into gear? Yeah. Wednesday. I feel like, dude, we got to, we can't cry over spilled milk. It's been two days of spilling milk. We're not, I'm not crying over spilled milk. I'm just saying. We're, and we're, it's only two o'clock on Tuesday. The day is far from over. Um, all right, man. Enough with the shenanigans. Thanks, bro. Let's go to the skate park. Are you going to put shoes on or anything? No, I was just going to go film the bare feet. Okay, well, you, you seem to be the one rushing me out the door. I'm not rushing you out the door. I was just, just All trying right, to just... Let's go to the park. I figure it's been a little while. It's time for us to do another uh, complete setup video. But first, I want to start off with choosing what board do I want to ride. Let's see what my graphics are looking like. Goldies. I always love Paul Jackson Samurai. That one's good. Um, oh, I never had one of my, one of my Call of Duty boards yet. Possibly. Actually, no. This is it right here. One of my newest graphics. Paul Rodriguez Knight board. Knight with a K. I brought you a accelerator. Did you want it? Oh yeah. Okay. Got a cheers on this one. Cheers up. Cheers. Mm-hmm. What wheels do I want to go with? Mm, I've been liking these X2s. And I just got some Bones Reds. I've never actually skated Bones Red, so I'm gonna try these out. My gold hella tight hardware, diamond hardware. A pair of Venture High 5.6s. Grip tape. Let's get the tools out. Okay. Set this board up. I'm excited for this one. I really like this graphic. Okay, first and foremost, start off with my grip tape. So I'm using mob grip. I enjoy mob grip. It's got the right grippiness for my liking. questions Mike why haven't you switched like maybe like different like maybe low trucks no 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 I, I, I used to skate low trucks but uh, I went to size 52 wheels and for low trucks 
uh, for me, it was too much wheel biting. And also on the low trucks, I have more problem with uh, the kingpin snagging on like backsmiths, or front feebles, or flat bars and stuff like that. And on the high trucks, the, uh, the kingpin is sunk below the top of the hanger so you don't have that issue. I got another one. You plan on having graphics out or graphics in? On the wheels? Yeah. Graphics in. Um, I just I just like the, the, just the blank, clean-looking wheel. If I ever have another signature wheel, it's going to be the graphicless wheel. I have an idea. I was like, I have another idea. Like for a second, sorry, I paused with that. I was like, what if the graphic is on there, but you can't see unless it's like like sun hits it or something, or glow in the dark, like it goes away or something. I don't know. Some type of infrared graphic. Infrared. So only if someone's looking at you with infrared goggles, they could see it. Something something out of the ordinary, because you want to keep it simple, but you don't want to keep well, it simple. Well, I think that simple. would be out of the ordinary. Like, just, I don't know, maybe somebody has, maybe in the comments somebody will know, but has anyone ever came out with a signature wheel that was just the graphicless? Blank. Yeah. Pro blank. Yeah, my pro, like it'll just say on the packaging my name, like Paul Rodriguez, signature wheel, blah, blah, blah. And you take it off and it's just. It's blank. Blank. Yeah, maybe you can give them like stickers or something so they feel like, oh, it's, you know. Oh, I'm gonna I give got them, it. I'm going to, instead of giving them stickers, I'm going to give them the highest quality wheel available. True, true, true. You know, but what if in the packaging, what you see how the graphics are like that? What if that's just a sticker that comes off? So you have like two, four circle Ooh, stickers. What if, what if they make wheel stickers so if you wanted a graphic you can have it if you didn't all right we're giving too much away on this i, I think we're giving so you're so you're wheel list at the moment wheel I, sponsored list yeah i don't have a wheel sponsor so you can skate for any wheel company yeah i just I, I just mix it up and just try um different wheels you know I, I i ride for bone swiss now so they've been showing me love sending me some wheels but also my, my friends at spitfire when I get venture boxes, they send me some Spitfires, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can, if I don't have a direct sponsor for it, then I like to, like, spread the love through different brands because it's, like, it makes me feel like I'm a kid again. You go in the skate shop mm -hmm. and you want to try this this time or the mm -hmm. next time you go, oh, what about this brand? What about that brand? So, you know, I like to, you know, just feel like a kid again, you know? It Nostalgia. Keeps it, keeps it fun. You know? Well, I have a, I've been around a long time, so I have a lot of friends in the industry too. And you know, if I if I can show a little extra love and support to the different homies at different brands, why not? Of course, why not? Why not? That's 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 the, that's the question. Why not? Because you can. Well, just because you know, in this category, I happen to not have a proper a full sponsorship, so you know, I just show love. Let's see here, uh, I used to use the gold one to indicate the front but now i just go all black i said this on the other setup videos before but i kind of wanted to use the all gold but then it's just gonna like make my mind think that that should always be the front of my board so i want to keep them all black since i have the twin nose and it doesn't matter which direction my board is in dude you've been talking twin nose for a while can we can we get an update on like production are we going to be able to have like twin noses like the public wants twin noses yeah we're, we're working on that right now actually and now I, what we need to start doing at Primitive is just making the graphics somehow so it doesn't look like top to bottom, you know what I mean? Like this graphic goes one direction, so like some way to make a graphic that you can have it either way and it looks the same. I used to have a graphic back in the day uh, that looked like the street sign and it said one way and it was just an arrow pointing in di different in each direction. Maybe I have to bring that one back. You probably can't count or figure out like... How many completes you said over the years? Like probably thousands, hundreds. There's no way of knowing. Yeah, like brand new completes. Like, did you number them as a kid? Like, this is complete number two. This nah. is complete now. Nah, that's just like overly tedious. There's got to be someone out there who's who's done it. Uh, probably, but I do know that like some guys have kept every single board they've ever skated. Like Christian's VTAC, remember him? I was gonna say that. Yep. He kept every single board he ever skated in his whole life which is pretty interesting like you can go back and look at every board you ever had but think about it when you become a pro it's kind of like a dick move too like you're out you see a kid he's got a busted up board you as a pro you change your boards 
so quick. So like a board that you're already going to change, another kid, it's like basically brand new to that kid. But you're just like, nah, I got to keep it. Sorry, dog. Can't give you, can't hook you up. You know, that's kind of, that's kind of silly too. Like, so like, I like to like give my boards to, to kids and give them, give them away because like when I'm done with it, it still has a lot of life left compared to, you know, what a, what a kid out there might, might consider being a board that's already been used up. So, um, you know, I like to spread the love and yes, I'm sure there's gonna be comments, uh, saying something about this yes i'm spoiled i am aware of that i'm a pro skater i'm spoiled i change my boards after a few days when they're still perfectly fine like this one it's complete like these trucks are still good these wheels and bearings are still good the board is not super i get it i know i know but don't worry this board will have find a nice new home and yes i'm aware i'm spoiled you don't need to retell me that i am not uh I'm not oblivious to that fact, but I've worked very hard to be the spoiled. I've practiced my whole entire life, damn near. All right, just well, gotta get that out the way because I know people are gonna be. But we did, we did. About it. But we did say something earlier today. We did mention about some of the boards you've been skating the life reset that we kind of want to do some. Well, I'm gonna start giving away more stuff on YouTube now that I've been more active on YouTube. But I'm saying in my everyday life, I keep boards in my trunk, and if I see kids out there. Some beat up boards. I, I like to, you know, just always have a board or two in the trunk available to just, you know, bless a kid, you know, or a grown ass man who just has a beat up board. Whoever it is, just, just feels good to be able to do that. I wonder what these. Uh... What's up, Manny? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're giving some of these away. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see with my that, board. That was your board. Y'all give mine away too. Why not? Yeah, why wouldn't you? That's what I'm saying. We're giving stuff away. Yeah, your boards are even less used up than my boards. Let's not start with me. <laughs> they're, just... more, they're more new. Yeah, the, his boards are still pretty much exactly brand new. They're more new. It's, it's like you got to throw away all Mike's gear that he has in the little buckets, the stuff he doesn't use. Yeah. And then you can give well, away Well, you don't boards. have to throw it away. We give it away. We're giving it away. So no, but, the, but, boards? but it's camera stuff. Yeah, I have a oh, gang of boards. Oh, that stuff, yeah. Well, if we have boards too, man, we'll, we'll take it. We're going to just, we're going to donate and give away. Maybe, you know what? There's they can kids. Follow, they're they're going to follow up. They're going to follow up on your YouTube channel because then you'll give away boards on your YouTube they channel. They can do whatever they want, but we have a lot of boards to give away. It's always about, it's always about giving here. Well, if you can, why not? Dude, that's the top. Dude, why not? That's the topic. Why not? Well, that's not the topic. That's the question. That's the question. Day. But I'm saying the question. That's the question. When someone, asks, why not? Yeah, if you can, why not? Yeah, why not? Like, why not? If it's no, if it's no sweat off your back, why not? So, it's yeah. the least you could do. Like, I'm literally. Someone says something. Hey, you want it? Why not? Why? Why? Why not? And this is the thing about setting up a complete. It's almost quicker to set up a fresh new complete than it is just to switch your your board. Uh, because you don't have to take one set of trucks off, put one set of trucks on. Like, you don't have to do it twice. Especially if you're, like, changing your wheels and your board but keeping the same trucks. And you got to take the old ones off and put the new ones on. Take the old board off, put the new one on. This, you just do it all once. You've done that before, though. Like, if your boards, your trucks are good and your boards are good, you'll change the wheels by itself or no? You just do a whole complete? No. If, if my trucks are good and my board is good... No, the board... Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. No, I don't just switch wheels. You've never done that? Like, I won't put new wheels on with an old board. To me, that's weird. Like, it seems wrong. Like, if I'm switching a board out, then if I feel my wheels are, like, need to be switched, then I'll switch my wheels when I switch the board so I have new board, new wheels. Got you. But I don't like if my board's already been skated for a couple days and my trucks are already broken in, just randomly switch my wheels in between that. I'll just wait until it's time to switch my board and then I'll switch the wheels when I switch my board. Interesting. Just like I don't like skating new shoes with an old board. I like either skating new shoes with a new board or new board with old shoes, with already broken in shoes. Like these shoes are gonna be my first day skating them, so I would skate them because I'm setting up a new board. New shoes, new complete. But I wouldn't skate these fresh shoes with this board. Just a thing. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but just a thing for me. Oh, 
Sorry. Sorry, my bad news. That's my bad. That's my bad. All right, let's try these reds. This might be a silly question, and somebody else can answer, but why do they call them reds if they're black? Well, I feel like growing up, I had reds, and they were outside the I feel reds. like I remember them being red Yeah. back in the day. But maybe these are newer reds. They're, what does it say, like, super reds? Yeah, but I just, I just figured, shouldn't they be red? Let's do the spin test. Oh yeah, they're gonna be good. You know I'm gonna bug you for a first trick, man. You have to, just one. Well, if I'm gonna skate, you have to start the session out with something, right? Well, just freshy, new, complete, new shoes. What's the first trick? Would you go nollie flip? I, w I would be okay with trying that. Because a kickflip is kind of scary. Because Galant... kickflip for me is the is the scariest one to start a session off. I need to be warmed up. I need to, my ankle needs to be loose. My hips need to be loose. Yeah, kickflip has to go well. But a nollie flip's pretty chill for you. It seems like. Yeah, I don't have that. Uh... Scare factor. I don't have that OCD with nollie flips. Uh, any update on the skate shop? When are you going to do the remodeling? or? No, no update. You know, I talked to Malto about possibly turning it into like a little version of Escapist in here, but I don't know how serious he was taking that conversation. So, you know, if there's any other shops out there that want to brand my little underground skate shop here as their skate shop let me know because if, if malto's asleep at the wheel then we might have to keep it moving you know or maybe i'll just invent my own like skate shop name dude maybe i'll just make my own skate dude shop. what if i got it mirage skate shop your first Ooh. sponsored, your first board company. Ooh. A lot of people Skate don't know shop. out there that I started a board company back in 1999 with my Uncle Dave. And we called it Mirage Skateboards. Mirage Skate Shop. On the grind, Skate Shop. What about, hold on, hold on, let me see. What about baked ice? Let's bring it back. Dude, that's in 2006. I did my thing. Some of you, they know, they know, they don't know. Well, the reason I said that is because, yeah, a lot of people might not know it, but Spanish Mike had a skate shop back in 2006. He was 16. He was an entrepreneur. It was in, what, Tampa? Or Newport Orlando? Ritchie. New, Newport Ritchie in Florida. Florida. And it was called Baked Ice. And he's my best bud, so we have this kind of relationship where we make fun of each other and give each other shit. So I was like, Mike... That's the dumbest name I've ever heard in my life. What made you think of naming your skate shop Baked Ice? Like, what the hell even is that? And here was his answer. Because Mike is from originally, he's originally from Long Island, New York. And he moved to Florida with his family for a few years. So it's like, Baked Ice, you know, New York, it's cold. In Florida, it's hot. So it's like, you know, the, the cold coming into the heat. It's like, it's like you're baking ice. It's baked ice. And he was looking at me like... Like, like, like he just, like it was ingenious. And I just fell down laughing, thinking that was the most ridiculous name in the world. But he's my best bud. And it really doesn't surprise me that that's the type of name he came up with. Hey, man. It, it, it sounded good, man. We had sales. We did, we did what we did, man. Hey, man, I know, how to run a, I know how to run a shop, dude. Is that why you don't run it anymore? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm living my dreams now, man. Okay. Well, it wasn't your dream to have a skate shop? It was, but that dream turned into this dream, so... That dream turned into your nightmare. Well, whatever. I'll There's be... uh, things we don't need to speak on, but yeah. I was setting up completes. That's right. This one's so far so good. Now we just need to see what the... Uh, tightness of the trucks are. Oh, these are loosey-goosey. It's all in feel. You know, after many years of doing this, you just, it's a feel. You just know, you just know what feels right. I guess you could say I ride my trucks kind of on the medium side. I like to do this a little bit to like activate the bushings. 
and it's fun. And it warms up your ankles. Any day now, buddy. <laughs> I was wondering you, you going to say something? Yeah, I was just, I was just getting up here all day. Any day now. No, see, I like to use the Spitfire tool for this because the only thing that's rough about the Venture Highs is because the kingpin is below the hanger, although it does stop you from your kingpin hanging up on rails and ledges, which to me is the most important part, it can be challenging because it can be hard to get behind the kingpin uh, to tighten it. So the Spitfire tool is thin enough around here to fit in between that crevice. Okay. So can I? Can yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I have some space? Oh, please? my bad. One, two. So you tighten it like three times. But now we go back to doing this. As you tighten it, you do this again. Again, I feel like it just helps break them in. Probably another another three turns or so. So that's five. And six. Three. Excuse me. So four and one. Oh, see that one slipped up. That wasn't a full turn, so I'm gonna have to do a little more. And voila, another Christmas complete, ready to go have some fun. Oh, that's really grippy. There you go. Kick flip. Tray flip. Another knowledge flip just to just to make up for it, no? That's it? That's all you get, Mikey. That's it. Alright.